Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm the Crochet Critic and on this channel I give 100% honest to God reviews about anything to do with crochet. If that has to be hooks, yarn, tools, accessories, anything to do with crochet. So today I'm going to be reviewing a set of Tunisian crochet hooks. As you can see here, I brought some for aesthetic so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, okay, well, I'm not um, a choir of angels singing, but this is Knitter's Pride Ginger Interchangeable Tunisian Afghan Crochet Hook Set. Okay, so I saw this on Amazon for $98, and honestly, I've been wanting to check out Knitter's Pride for a long time, but I just haven't had the money. So I've been putting away pennies and dimes and nickels, anything I can so that I could have bought this. So finally, with my own money, I put my order in for Amazon with this and I am so excited to open it. It got dirty on the edges, I guess, from transportation, but I did not touch this seal, honest to God, because I knew I would never be able to forgive myself if I opened this without showing you guys. So this, these parts here, I guess it didn't seal all the way and it got a little dirty, but this part here, I can promise you, I'm the crochet critic. I cannot lie. I did not open this and God, how I wanted to open it. I wanted to open it so bad. But what I'm gonna do in this is, in this part of the video is I'm gonna open it and show the whole thing to you guys. And then I'm gonna cut the video and then I'm gonna take like a week or like a week and a half to crochet with it and you know do everything I need to do with it and then I'm gonna give you guys a full length video let's just look at the specs shall we it says knitters pride that's the brand ginger is the type I guess of crochet hook interchangeable Tunisian Afghan crochet hook set pattern holder and a hook case in one so you can use this as a pattern holder I saw on the website so see how this picture is here on the reverse side there's a pattern holder so you can have all your hooks set up and have the pattern holder on the back. It says luxurious vegan leather case. So this case I think is all, everything's made sustainably. Um, stained finish, laminated wood crochet hooks, most eco-friendly. And once I get inside, I'll show you guys what they're talking about when they say laminated. Okay, laser imprinted sizes on hooks will always stay. So I'm guessing on the metal they did like an imprint so you wouldn't have to worry about it being on the, the wood on the hook. Okay, spacious pocket to store all accessories and extras. Pen for all your knit and crochet notes. Ooh, that is never leaving this case. Never before, 12 sizes in a pack. Best crochet hook set money can ever buy. Incorporates the largest range of crochet hooks and accessories. US size EFG7, HIJKLMN, and 12. Metric sizes go 3.5, 3.75. 4, 4.55, 5.56, 5 6.5, it skips 7, so 8, 9, 10, and 12. Four cords, so I guess it comes with four cords and, uh, let's see, eight end caps, four cord keys, one set of cord connectors, magnets for the pattern holder, and 20 colorful stitch markers in the pen. Let's look at the back before I open it. Your purchase of our ginger crochet hook set helps bring a smile and a job to 350 plus female artisans in our factory in Rajasthan, India. Hope I said that right. An area with more than 2,000 years of arts and crafts histories. We're also proud to share that our policy is to never refuse a job or a smile to a woman looking for work. After all, we believe that through knitting, we can make the world a better place. What? <laughs> through knitting? Do you guys see this? After all, we believe that through knitting, we can make the world a better place. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. That is supposed to say crochet. Uh-uh. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Why would you put that on a crochet hook set? Oh, crochet hooks made from ethical wood sourced from sustainable forests. All those knitters out there thinking they're better than crochets all the time. <laughs> but what? <laughs> ah, seriously. I'm going to open this. 
You guys can see it being opened. but oh look at that oh that is so nice it feels like a like a nice purse it smells like it yeah it smells really good and you can tell it's fake leather I mean it's not like it's um, real or anything but it looks real all right let's take this off Ooh, knitters pride and that's a nice label really pretty well I'm gonna throw this part away right here oh through knitting <laughs> nothing against knitters I love all types of needlework but oh, this is the crochet crib channel we can't we can't take that <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like opened oh my goodness ooh, 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 ooh. That's really pretty. Oh, so here it has magnets. Are these magnets? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's to hold your pattern. Ooh, look, a big long magnet. And that matches. That's really pretty. And so this whole this whole back panel inside here, I guess, is metal because this is sticking. All the way into this edge here and it has some fake leather um, ends here I guess to wrap around and hold your place so let's try it so I'll wrap this around and put the ends on ooh that's nice that is super nice ooh let's look Oh, well, already I can see this is a little bit loose right here. These are sticking, you know, they, they're not moving if I move them, but these are like a little bit of movement. Let's check out the pen first. It's pretty nice, a really nice, fancy looking pen. Twist. Yeah, that's really cool. Fine tip pen. That's exciting. I'll take out the biggest one so you guys can see it up more up close. Okay, that's very shiny. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is laminate. Um, laminate is when you see these like the wood grains are all in rows. They stick the wood together with resin or a type of adhesive and they put it under pressure or with heat and they make sure that it's completely stuck together. It's it, I guess it's more eco-friendly this way because they're not using full whole cuts of wood. They're just using scrap wood and putting as much scrap wood together as they can. So that's why they say this that this is eco-friendly. I can see some tool marks. See the tool marks right there? So it has a little bit of tooling on it. Um, but for the most part, this feels pretty smooth. These hooks are considered tapered hooks. The curve kind of goes in on the neck a little bit so kind of like the boy hooks so this is not not like the Susan Bates hooks so when you're looking at it you're looking from the back you can see the whole rounded part of the head that's because these are not inline hooks so an inline hook you wouldn't even be able to see the curve of this so it might pull in a little bit when you're crocheting but um, it looks like a pretty pointed top you'd be able to get into the stitches pretty easy but also, um, this neck is pretty thin, so you got to be kind of careful with that. I mean, especially if it's laminated wood. Laminated wood, um, it's like plywood, kind of like how plywood looks, if you guys have ever seen from the side, if you've ever seen plywood. So that might be a little bit brittle, especially in these smaller sizes. So you just got to be careful of that. Look how thin that neck is. Oh my god, that is scary. I have a feeling I'm going to end up breaking that. Oh, I forgot to show you the sizes. 
You can see that they are kind of etched in a little bit. It doesn't look like it's actually etched really. I kind of like paint it on there. But it has it has them labeled. So these do not have metric. So it'll say M13, but this is actually a nine millimeter hook. Um, this one says I9, but actually this is a 5.5 millimeter hook. So I was kind of disappointed in that. If you're used to the metric sizes, you're just gonna have to think first before you, you know, grab a hook and go. Let's check out the little pouch in here. I think it said it came with all of your Tunisian accessories. You know, it has the screw on tabs. It has the, the end caps, um, the pins, kind of like a light brown cord um, that kind of matches the wood. So that's really pretty. Let's see what else. Cute. Look, it comes with a bunch of little stitch markers. Oh, and these are metal. You hear it? That's heavy duty. I've never seen metal ones, but that's really cute. Very heavy and sturdy, this metal piece here. Actually, this is the first set that I've bought like this, where it actually feels like a, like a complete set that I can take with me. It has the pattern holder in the back, and I like that. That's very exciting. I'm, I'm happy that I got this. But the real test, let's get down to it. I'm going to um, pause the video here, and I'm going to test these out a few sizes. And I'm going to bring back my work and show you guys how well these crocheted. And I'm going to show you guys anything that I noticed over the next few days that was not so perfect about this. So I'm going to be giving my full actual review. So in the future, if you decide to buy this, you will be aware of the pros and cons of this purchase. So... I will see you guys back here in just a few seconds. Okay guys, it's been a few days and I've had time to look at everything and test everything out. And I'm ready to give my full, 100% honest crochet critic review of Knitter's Pride Ginger Tunisian Crochet Hooks. So first I wanna address a few things. I bought this from Amazon. I did not buy it from the Knitter's Pride website because Knitter's Pride website does not have an SSL. Anything that you do on their website is potentially um, available to people that are hackers or it's, it's not a secure website to purchase from. So I paid $98 for this. So that's a very steep price for a crochet hook set, but I thought it would be worth it because it came with all the Tunisian extensions. There are plenty of other options out there that don't have the extensions, but I like to use Tunisian crochet. So I thought, what the heck, I'll just get it, just try it, and I've been saving money for this exact type of product. A few things that I want to address, which I don't know if you guys want to be nitpicky about this, but sometimes I am. This is crooked. I don't know, not on camera, I guess on camera you don't really see it, but when I'm staring at it, it's like on an angle a little bit, and it bothers me a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to send it back or anything because of that. I'm not that picky, but... I just wanted to point that out that this was a little bit crooked. This one does not snap. It's completely, it, it doesn't even snap in hardly. Like if you listen, listen to how good this one snaps in. Like that is a snap. That's a big snap. And to take that apart, I have to really pull it and it makes a big snapping noise. Okay, that's, that's a clean cut snap that is actually secure. This one. That, that's that's secure on this one. And listen, you see how easy I just barely touch that? Barely snaps. It doesn't even snap in hardly. And I noticed that this part in here is a little damaged and it's it doesn't have the two angles on the inside there to keep this locked in place. One other small complaint. I had to switch these two hooks here because if you notice how loose this is, if I put them back to where they were supposed to be, this is literally, I mean, Watch, if I stood this up, it would just fall. So I had to switch them, switch places with them so I could put the, for some reason, this one's a little bit tighter than this thing here. So I just switch them and it's okay. But then if you know, if you have OCD like me, sometimes I wanna have everything in order and this kind of throws me off. Something else I noticed that bothers me to no end is the hook sizes. This shows N, you know, size N, size H, but it also shows the metric underneath. So on the hooks themselves, I'll just hold it up for you to see. The largest one has 12 millimeter, but then it just goes N15, M13, 
The one I'm using over there for the large one is an L11. Um, K 10.5, I9, H8, a 7. So see already they don't have them labeled like they show here. Because they show five millimeter, 10 millimeter, but they do not have them labeled that way on the hook. And it's not even just because it's on the opposite side, like I'll turn this whole hook around. No, it just, it has the same size. So it does not have metric labeling. If that's what you are used to, no metric labels. I also have another complaint, which I don't want you guys to think I'm just complaining, but I'm, I am the crochet critic here. I have to make sure these things are perfect for you guys before you buy them. So I'm only nitpicking because I want you guys to see everything that's going on. So um, it comes with four cords. So these are four extension type cords for Tunisian crochet. It also comes, I, I have the other two on my two projects. It comes with cord keys. And then it comes with two extensions. It comes with 20 stitch markers. It also comes with eight um, end caps, which I'm using two right now on there. And it also comes with a pen. And it's actually supposed to be in this last hole right here, but it's so big. It's, it's like a size nine hook almost. So I couldn't fit it in there. They, they gave a very, very small um, hook holder there and I couldn't fit this. It, it just kept stretching the fabric out and it would end up scratching part of this. So I took it out. But the thing I noticed about the pen, it's not sturdy at all, look. It makes clicking noises. The top part of the cap um, is not even centered. It's messed up kind of. But the one thing I do like is that this is a very, very fine tip. This is blue ink. You know, some people don't like blue ink in their pen, but this is blue. But that's the thing that bothered me the most is look at that. You can even hear it. It's just a little bit disappointing. I know that that's going to break eventually, and I like that pen, and it goes with the set, and it doesn't feel like it's sturdy enough to hold up over time. So the end caps are good. Um, I've been testing those. The one thing I was happy about this set is that these stitch markers are metal. Usually they're plastic. So I was happy that this was a little bit of an upgrade here. The extensions, they work really well. They have a hole for the key so you can screw them in without having to twist everything around. Cord keys. Actually, I think it says there's only supposed to be four cord keys but there's five, so that was a bonus, I guess. I do have something to say that really bothered me. These extensions, I measured them. I have my little handy dandy measuring tape. I read here that it says there are four cords, 24, one that's 24 inches, and then here it says two that are 32 inches, and one that is 40 inches. I measured it myself, and actually, the smallest one is not 24 inches. This is only 16 inches. This is a 24. And I got two of these. I got one in this, and I also got one with, with this one, which I'm using right now. It said you get one that's 24 inches, and then two that are 32 inches. So that's very wrong. This is 24, and I got another one that's 24. So actually you get two 24 inches. It says the largest one should be 40 inches and my largest one was only 32 inches. So they're saying 24 inches is the shortest. You get two 32 inches, and then you get one 40 inch. But in reality, you get one 16 inch, two 24 inches, and you get one 32 inch. They kind of skimp out on a f quite a few inches here. You know, I wish that I actually got what I paid for. For, you know, for $98, that's very expensive especially for something that, you know, you want it to be perfect. You want it to be absolutely perfect every time you use it. Um, I did have a problem with some of the hooks not screwing into the connectors. Okay, so can you see on this, you see the gold edge on those threads? That is whenever they are being stripped. This is supposed to have the correct ten like tension for the, the threading. If it doesn't, it won't screw in all the way. So this one was actually the hook. This is as far as it goes. It stops and it's, I, 
I tested this hook with all of my connectors and they it did that to all of them. I can't even use this hook for Tunisian crochet because look it look how look at that and I'm just letting you know those of you who use Tunisian hooks like this if you do that too many times and you mess up your threading you, you won't be able to use this and you won't be able to use the hooks as Tunisian crochet so if you notice that on your hooks stop immediately it's gonna end up damaging this where it's gonna damage this and you won't be able to connect anything to it the seller that I bought this from on Amazon contacted me with an email right after I purchased and they told me that if there were any problems or any issues to email them immediately and they would fix it so I know a lot of this stuff seems kind of minute and not really worth mentioning but I am going to contact them and let them know about the issues that were presented to me in this and I, I hope that they fix it in future purchases I don't want to be nitpicky but if you are gonna spend almost a hundred dollars for this it everything needs to be perfect so what I do have to say is if you don't tighten this very well while you're crocheting and turning your hook it will unscrew itself you also need to make sure you tighten on your end cap very well um, just to make sure that doesn't fall off but so far I haven't had a problem the only thing I notice about the hooks is that there is not a thumb indention but Tunisian hooks usually don't have a thumb indention but you know you can also use this as a regular crochet hook set and it's a little strange that that does not have um, a thumb indention because it won't hurt it while you're using it for Tunisian crochet it's just there in case you don't use it for Tunisian crochet something I noticed is that the hook head is very very long compared to a Susan Bates hook or a boy hook this is extremely long sometimes while I'm pulling through I have to pull a little bit harder just to pull that all the way through the varnish on the wood kind of makes like a squeaking noise can you hear it it might just be this type of yarn I'm just hoping that it'll go away after a while of using them so I mean they're they're very simple to use very easy to use so this is pretty good these hooks did very well with this um, it drapes nicely down around the edge it doesn't misshape it or anything did some Tunisian crochet with this larger hook but I ripped it all out I frogged it so I'm just trying you know to go slow and not get annoyed because I had to redo my work but I'm trying out some lacy shell patterns with the Tunisian crochet and I know I picked a dark yarn I'm so sorry I should have picked a little bit lighter one but what the heck I thought it was cute um, same thing here the hook is kind of I picked this is the correct size hook for the yarn but I think I just had my tension a little too tight I so it's crocheting pretty nicely um, it slides through the yarn very well because it's it is so smooth and, and kind of lacquered it looks really good um, on the inside of some of the heads you can see tooling marks where they kind of sanded everything but actually everything turned out really nice so all in all crochet critic review final opinion I mean it's a cute set it's a wonderful set um, as a collector a crochet collector I'm excited but I'm also disappointed by some of the some of the flaws that I felt were you know in this you know the hook sizes not being metric and US the pen messing up um, the the cord extensions not being the correct sizes and just small minute details that kind of throw me off a little bit and make me feel like man you know I wish this was perfect and for a hundred dollars it should be perfect I would say buy it Purchase to your heart's content, but be aware there will be a few things wrong with it. Unless this was just me, but there will be probably a few things wrong with it. What? Still, I'm still thinking about this. This is something out. I am still upset about this. Through knitting, we make the world a better place. What? Uh-uh. I don't know. I might change it. I might change my opinion now because I saw that, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave it a like. If you're interested in my future reviews, subscribe and you won't be disappointed because I have a lot of cool information coming up. I'm really excited about everything. Still working on the blog, still working on the website. Um, I'm also working on a shop for the website for people to purchase things. It's really exciting and I cannot wait. Also, 
If you guys are excited about it, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think about this. If you're going to purchase it, if you've already purchased it, just let me know. And I'm also excited to see if you guys have any ideas for future videos. I haven't seen a comment. Well, I had one comment about Furl's crochet hooks. But that was it. No one's telling me what they want me to review. So I'm just reviewing whatever I can find. So I'll just let you guys go. I know this was a long video. But I hope you enjoyed it as much as I had fun reviewing it and crocheting. I got to crochet so so excited. But yeah, I'll let you guys go and let me know what you think. And Crochet Critic out.